So life after death is an important question uh, because also that become like, because I came from Christian tradition, they didn't have such an answer, and uh, it bothered me because if there is no another life, if there is no reincarnation, if the, the if there is only one life, and then ap according to that life, it's being decided, will we go to eternal heaven or eternal hell? That's like really um, uh, not not just from God because you can be born in a family that are a mafia of, uh, background and you can be born and raised in that and behave like that and who decided that? Why somebody got uh, like a golden spoon and somebody doesn't have anything to eat? So when we introduce the concept of reincarnation and karma everything becomes uh, logical and then we can really understand that there is justice and that God is not trying to punish us uh, because of some just external circumstances and that we have deserved it ourselves. So in a logical way, that's the, that's the only answer. From the second part, from regarding my realizations, I got a lot of realizations and now when somebody asks me, uh, does karma exist? Uh, do I believe that, that does karma exist? Usually I tell them that I don't believe. And then they ask me, why? But you are uh, from the Vedic tradition. I, and I say, because I don't believe anymore. I know that it exists because I had so many realizations. I had realizations uh, from different uh, perspectives. One of them was looking at the Jyotish, uh, that I had one expert Jyotish uh, uh, person who told me what happened in my uh, life before, even not knowing me, and what will happen, happen in the future. Some of those things in future changed because I started to practice uh, like uh, pure spirituality, so God changed some things, but some things I saw that needed to happen. On the other side, uh, there is many investigations of like uh, after death experiences where people on the uh, surgical uh, table, they have left their bodies in, uh, and they could see what was happening. And some of those people were blind they were blind, they have never seen colors, and then they could really see what was happening, what was going inside of the operational room, and later on they explained different colors, different things, so that's not possible. There is also so many other evidences that uh, with true uh, regressions, uh, you know, like people started to um, remember their past life, and some of them started to speak languages that were unknown, only like really amazing experts could uh, decipher uh, those languages and could uh, see what they were saying. So that was uh, a lot of investigations in that area also. And uh, there is also a couple of other things that, you know, like you can really see this life is just one of the experiences that we had and is determined by the previous experiences. And it's not just some uh, like uh, theological, uh, dogmatical thing. Uh, but it's a re really something that is influencing our life and if we go a little deeper we can see how it really influences our life and why it happens.